Welcome back to Living Local. From our waterways and air to our land and wildlife, the Rock Island Conservation Club works to conserve, protect, and enhance our area's natural resources. And this weekend, the club is holding its annual flea market, and they're asking you to come out, enjoy some shopping, and learn how you can help make a difference in our community. And joining us today is Sue Pienta with the Rock Island Conservation Club. Sue, thanks so much for being here. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me, and I appreciate it. So tell us a little bit more about the club and its rich history, because it the, goes way back. <laughs> Way back, 85 years uh, the club has been in existence. Uh, it began with a group of people, you know, wanting to take uh, an interest in preserving our resources that we have. And they started out with raising pheasants out there oh. and uh, releasing them back into the environment. And then from there, we've just kind of grown to a club that uh, uh, we protect our wildlife out there, we watch our waters. Um, and we also donate our club to a lot of organizations that need to have maybe, um, some of them just come out and have meetings out there, Boy Scouts are one of them, mm -hmm. Extreme Biologists are another. And then uh, we've just had some other groups and organizations come out and do some of their uh, day camps and such out there. Take okay. the kids out fishing, yeah. take them out hiking, it's a lot of fun. So talk to us about some of the things that the members do then. They kind of participate in all of this? Well, they do. We do have two work days a, a year out at the club. So we're out there picking up trash, we're making sure everything is safe for all our wildlife out there. Um, because we do have um, people out there fishing and, and mm -hmm. unfortunately not everyone picks up all their trash. No, <laughs> unfortunately. So we <laughs> do have to make sure that everything is safe out there for them. Um, we are are one of the uh, participating clubs of the Quad City Expo Center. So we volunteer our time down there um, to help uh, keep them going down there also. Okay. Now, you hold a number of events throughout the year, including your annual flea market that's coming up. It so is. tell us more about this and, and when it's happening. Okay, this is happening tomorrow. Uh, April 27th from okay. 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. It is free, open to the public. Uh, come on out. We have about 50 vendor spots that are sold. We have uh, two pavilions, uh, I'm sorry, two clubhouses that we house uh, vendors inside. We have a pavilion that's covered and we also have uh, seasoned vendors out there with tents and everything and then just people out there just with their tables and such yeah. selling their wares. Okay, and so, so, so who will be some of the vendors? Because you brought some of the st stuff that People. Well, yeah, there's there's one of our uh, major vendors that has been out there since our beginning is Bum Mustard. He, it's a lot of fun. He's got 13 unique flavors of mustard that he's going to be sampling out there. Um, so, and he has a new mustard that he's going to be um, showing at our flea market tomorrow. Okay. And then we have just some other um, uh, antique uh, people that have antiques collectibles. Yeah. Uh, goat goats milk soaps. Um, I'm just trying to think. There's oh, we have somebody who's going to be doing on the spot knife sharpening. Okay. And then he has some uh, knives. We have somebody else. That, uh, there's just such a variety of it items sounds like out it. there. Yeah. That it's between yard sale, flea market. It's just a little something for everyone. Yeah, I love a good flea market. And this little thing, this little penguin with a it's a piggy bank it's a piggy bank so all kinds of different things yeah. for for all ages um and and so many different vendors i love the comic books do too. you know what this one is is this um to hold a cake it is yes yeah my grandma used to have one of these so I do remember this <laughs> i do yeah. remember this and i'm sure you're going to have members there too oh and, yeah. and they can answer questions if someone's we you will, know we will have um uh somebody out there that'll be selling memberships um so if anybody's interested and they want to pick it up tomorrow uh they this is a perfect time to go around the club look at the club we have 110 acres out there and three of them are lakes so we do offer fishing out there. You do have to have an Illinois fishing license, yeah. of course. Um, but free camping, fishing, hiking, um, just a lot of things to do. It's, yeah. it's, it's the place to go out there to put down your electronics and go out there and enjoy. Uh, we have a lot of wildlife out there. Um, and that's in the wintertime, the eagles come out there and they will, if the lake isn't frozen over, you'll see them up there in the oh, trees. Oh, beautiful. And it is, it's really neat yeah. to go out there and look at that. Yeah. And so for the flea market, is there a cost to get in? No, it's absolutely free see, for everybody to free, come. Folks. So just come on out. You can't beat that. No. And we will have uh, Backyard Smoke and it's going to be our food vendor this 
this year, and they have some great food oh, if you've yeah. never had it before. Definitely, yeah. So they take care of the food for us. We don't want to have to bother with that. Yeah. So, so besides the flea market, you have some other events coming up? We do. Uh, we have uh, two fishing uh, clinic type things for the kids that are coming up in June. One is I'm not sure the exact exact date, but they can go to our Facebook page or our website okay. and they can find out the dates. Um, next weekend, May 4th, I think it's a Saturday, we will have our uh, cleanup day, one of our cleanup days. Okay. And then May 5th is our open house. So you can come out there between 11 and 2 and actually talk to some of the people out there at the club, mm -hmm. members, and um, they'll take you around if you need to, or you can go around the club and look at everything, come back and get a membership yeah. if you want to at that time. Yeah. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that we are a nonprofit, 100% volunteer organization. So nobody out there gets paid. We yeah. don't even receive any state, local, or federal funds. Yeah. Everything is done by our little bit of fundraising that we do, right. and then um, our membership dues. So uh, another event we have coming up in, in July, and everything is just getting finalized for that, is our picnic. It's our annual picnic, uh, 13th of July, and that, again, is open to the public, free admission. We'll have you know, lots of raffles yeah. and, and music and games, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and it, it's a great way to kind of network, too, and sure. meet new people, you know, and get involved and, and, and make a difference yeah. in the community. And so if folks are in, um, interested in, you know, joining the club, just go to the website. Yep. And, um, they or can come find, out and see us tomorrow. Yeah, come out and see you tomorrow. All right. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. <laughs> we are there, and luckily, it looks like we might get a little bit of a shine a little tomorrow. Bit. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, Sue, thanks so much for coming in and, and talking to us today. All right. All Appreciate right. it. For more information, you can go to riconservationclub.org. We'll also have all those details posted on ourquadcities.com.